All right, hi, this is Chris, and um, you may know me as Bale or DJ Bale, that's my online alias, but anyway, I actually have not been posting any videos lately, um, and this is my YouTube channel. I had posted a video or two after I got my dentures um, taken care of, and a lot of people started following me and commenting on my videos because they must be looking on YouTube for denture information like I was before I had the procedure done. Um, let me give you a little bit of my backstory, okay? My backstory is basically, um, I went to the dentist when I was five years old, and that was the only time I went to the dentist. I remember they gave me the loopy laughing gas medicine, and I remember acting a fool in the um, waiting room, punching a teddy bear, and that was the only time I went to the dentist. My parents um, didn't have the money when I was growing up, really, to invest in me going to the dentist. Now, they always told me, take care of your teeth, brush your teeth, blah, blah, blah. As a kid, I was like, sure, yeah, I'm in the bathroom doing it. And I regret doing this, but like maybe once every three months, every six months, I would brush my teeth and not properly. I just did not care. I really didn't. And as I got older, my teen years, you know, my teeth started to deteriorate and I wasn't confident at all. Still wouldn't take care of them because I figured, you know, at this stage, there's no going back. I can't, you know, make them better. So I said, what's the point in brushing? That was my mindset, at least. So... My teeth at 30 years old became bad, actually at 27 or 26, I had fallen and I had busted the front uh, teeth out, right? And I just became really depressed. I was like, well, it's going to be hard for me to find jobs that I was in before where I'm working with the public or in a call center in a business environment. I said, who would want to hire me looking like this to represent their company? And um, eventually I did, I did get hired, but I was just in a bad mindset. <sighs> Anyway, what happened was I had a huge abscess come up on my mouth because my teeth had been hurting um, because I didn't take care of them. I've had um, issues where I've been trying to pull teeth out, like when my wisdom teeth came in. They hurt. I cried myself to sleep a lot of nights, a lot of nights. And what I would do is I would try to pry them out. I said, I can't deal with the pain. Had no insurance to go to a dentist at that point. Had no money to pay out of pocket. So I just decided to try to pull. And anyway, I, I had a tooth up here that was killing me for like three days. One night, I couldn't fall asleep, so I was pulling, pulling, pulling my best. I couldn't get it out. I got like halfway out, and I said, screw it, and me crying. The pain eventually just knocked me out. And I woke up hurting like hell. My face was like swollen like three times the size, and I posted, I didn't know what it was. I posted a picture on Facebook, and I said, look at my face. What happened? And people were saying, oh my god, that's an abscess, you have to go to the hospital. I didn't realize how serious an abscess was. I had a friend that I went to high school with, and I didn't know what she's doing now, but she actually is an oral surgeon assistant. She messaged me, or she commented on it, and said, look, you need to go to a doctor. You need to go to the dentist. Um, and I said, unfortunately, I don't you know, want to go to the dentist. I said, I have dental insurance, but, you know... And she convinced me to go, thinking I was just getting that taken care of. She said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and call you in some antibiotics. Go pick them up. I want you to take them, and I can get you in in the morning. Went in the next day. They did, you know, the CAT scan of my mouth or x-ray. And the uh, doctor came in, and she came in. And they were like, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of, like, 26 of those. And I said, oh, boy. I said, my insurance ain't going to take care of all that. And unfortunately, I don't have money to pay out of pocket for it. And she said... No, I'm, I'm taking care of it. And I started to well up like tears. You know, I was like, what? No, no, really, is this happening? And I said, no. I was like, I feel so ashamed that somebody was doing that for me. And I couldn't do it myself. I didn't have enough money to. And I felt bad about it. But she kept insisting, no, no, it's me. I want to do it. So my insurance covered like $1,000 of it, which covered most of the extractions. Um, she paid for the rest of the extractions, and she paid for the dentures. I waited for a week to get the dentures, so I don't know if these would be considered immediate dentures. I really don't, so if you're familiar with dentures, please let me know. But these are partials. They were able to save some of my teeth. I have three-year-old teeth right here on the top, and three-year-old teeth right here on the top. And basically, this connects to it. And down here, I have this with just two real teeth right there. Now, when you first get the dentures, um, your mouth is swollen, okay, so they'll fit properly. It's just, it just feels weird in your mouth, okay, uncomfortable a little bit. It didn't hurt, but it felt uncomfortable. It feels weird. So, um, at first it was hard for me to eat. Um, like I was like, let me go to McDonald's, try to eat a cheeseburger, and I try to eat, and my bottom plate kept sliding, and because I just had the surgery, 
it would hit bone and it would hit sore spots and it just hurts eat and I cried and I said I'm not going to be able to eat anything ever again. Well eventually I tried grits and soft foods like that and I was able to eat that for like a week or so and I cried again I was like you know I'm not going to be able to eat the same food I ate before. Well then I decided to use the adhesive that they had sent me. I decided to actually start applying that so I applied that to the bottom plate and because this right here is uh, no real teeth I applied it to the top plate as well and after that it just worked wonders you know it worked wonders as far as keeping them in place while I was eating eventually the adhesive does wear off throughout the day so you may have to reapply it um, and then also I learned because I thought you know that was a great that she did that for me I'm not gonna have to go back I don't want to you know spend any more money or have her spend any more money but there have to be readjusted because what happens after you have your extractions is that your gums are going to shrink bone is going to come out of your gums and that is the most painful part of the extraction I had no pain because I was knocked out but you have bone fragments that just poke through and work their way out of your gum that's uncomfortable and hurts it does hurt I'm not going to lie so um, I still have some bone not hardened as much but most of it I think knock on wood has uh, gone so, um, I got them refitted like a month ago. It's the first refitting. They said you'll have to get them refitted like two or three times. I'm not sure how often to go to get them refit though. I don't want to call her again because they're loose again. Like that. I mean, I could do that easily. And when I'm eating, they move because the adhesive has a wore off for today. So, I'm not sure how often you're supposed to get them refit. So, that would be great if somebody could answer it down in the comments below. Um, and when you get a refit, is it supposed to like suck? So that way you don't have to necessarily use adhesive because, again, these are partials. These are not a full set of the dentures. I do have two real teeth here. So um, any suggestions you can give me would be great. Now, the reason I also use adhesive on the top is because without adhesive, when I'm talking, these will go up and down. And the actual clamps right here are the silver pieces will rub up and down on the teeth. I'm like, well, that isn't good for the uh, real teeth. You think it would cause cavities or whatnot. So I like to apply adhesive up here to keep those in place. And that keeps it from sliding. But um, yeah, I kept really bad, bad care of my teeth. Didn't take care of them at all. Because I said, well, in the Bible and in the old times, you know, they didn't have toothpaste. So what did they do? That was stupid thinking, really. Stupid, stupid thinking. But I'm so grateful, beyond grateful, that I have a smile now. I feel confident now. I really do. Um, there are some issues, like right now when I'm talking, I have a sore spot at the back of my mouth here. I don't know if I'm talking too much because I've work, I work in a call center and that's my job. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this. This right here, sorry it's nasty, but this is just real life, okay? But... This is my bottom denture, okay? This is what it looks like. I have two holes uh, right there for my real teeth to poke through. But yeah, these are my partial dentures. The back of them are hitting against like the back of my mouth a little bit. And it, it's sore. It gets sore after a while. And then um, I'm going to do this too. Again, this is not embarrassing. It was at first for me, but not now because it's just who I am. So it's like I'm artificial. <laughs> Uh, this is my top plate, and I'm sorry it's going to look gross because there's a lot of adhesive up there. Um, mm. And uh, basically, that's how I smile. Like when I smile like this, you see it's a big difference. And it's embarrassing. Um, now this is because of the extraction, of course I had some teeth, you know, before the extraction. I thought I was going to deal with that until I get into an older age. But see, without the teeth in, like your original teeth or even dentures, I sound like an older person. I look older, a lot older than what I am. I'm 30 years old, but my mouth, like, I don't know, it's, just, it's hard to describe. It's hard to talk. So I'm going to pop them back in. I mean, it's not hard to talk, it's just hard for me to even understand myself when I'm talking, so, hold on. Okay. And even with the top plate in, I talk a little bit better, but the bottom plate, like I saw the list, hold on. Okay, there we go. So now I have my dentures back in. So everything that I'm talking, at first I had a really bit bad lisp with it, but I think I've gotten the hang of it. Look at my kitty. Look at the cat being nosy. Open the door. Ah. 
Hi, you're on camera. Say hello. Hello. He's shy. Alright, anyway. I wanted to give an update to the people that watch my videos. Um, the denture people, because I have a new crew that are watching. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to address it in my next video. Or if you have any suggestions for any of the problems I've said or anything that you may um, have experienced from wearing dentures that you think may be important for me to know, um, please let me know because I um, am new to this and anything that you can advise me would greatly be appreciated. But I feel so much better. So much, so much better. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for your continued support. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Yeah, sorry, these aren't in properly, so <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.